plasma membrane in plants. It is also known as plasmodesmata, plasmolemma. It, this name was given by Plove. First name was cell membrane by Nageli, also known as biomembranes. It has the following composition of water, phospholipids, car proteins, and carbohydrates. Phospholipids. It has one alkyl chain and one phosphate chain. It is non-polar tail in, in alkyl chain and polar head in phosphate chain. A molecule with both polar and non-polar ends is called amphipathic. Uh, is called a being of amphipathic nature, uh, where one polar head and two non-polar tails. Due to amphipathic nature, they will form a bilayer in membrane. Protein and carbohydrates are also present. Carbohydrates are 1 to 5 percent in the plasma membrane. It is of the form of oligosaccharides. Oligosaccharide is a short chain with 8 to 10 monomers. It is present in glycoprotein and glycolipid. It also has water and mineral and ions. It also has modified lipids such as cephaline and lecithin. Structure of membrane. First structure was given by Overton, the first um, uh, structure. It was he observed the membrane under electron microscope and showed the membrane is trilaminar that is three layered. He showed that it was uh, electron dense uh, at the rear and in between it was electron light. First of all he said that uh, the electron dense medium and then there was a electron light medium and then again dense medium alternatively which he suggested that the membrane had a layering of PLLP arrangement that is protein lipid lipid protein which was further explained by laminar models of the plasma membrane. There were two laminar models of plasma membrane first Daniel and Dabson and second Robertson. Daniel and Dabson gave that the there is a phospholipid barrier that is electron light according to Overton and the electron dense are the actually the globular protein surrounded by hydration cells and that also he, they, he, they told that phospholipid barrier have uh, van der Waal weak forces that connect them here each protein is surrounded by hydro hydration cells or that is water and small proteins and hydro which are hydrophilic in nature Robertson model he they studied uh, the, the membrane of endoplasmic reticulum and red blood cell he gave a unit membrane model he said that he defined he said that um, there is a unit size of membrane and that all the unit membrane in the world are just repetition of this unit membrane it was um, definitely wrong but uh, he said he, he, they, he told that uh, there is a first of all in the upper layer there is a carbohydrate uh, covered sheet protein and on the basement there is a sheet protein simple with no carbohydrate and in between there is a bilayer he also told the dimensions okay so protein and lipid lipid and protein just the same and he told that the bilayer was 35 angstrom one was 20 ampere and one sheet was also 20 ampere so total thickness was 75 ampere both these were models that is robertson's model and daniel and Dabson's model <coughs> were rejected uh, differences between Daniel Dabson and Robertson. Daniel Dabson showed that they had globular protein and Robertson showed that they had beta pleated protein that is sheet protein. Ka Daniel and Dabson did not have any carbohydrate in the uh, their model but Robertson had carbohydrate in the model and dimensions were not mentioned in Daniel and Daniel and Robertson told it had was 75 angstrom long. Fluid mosaic level, this is the model which we believe in today. It was given by the very famous Singer and Nicholson. It differs from the past two laminar models with respect to arrangement of proteins. First of all, there is a bilayer protein, just simple. And then there is a C of uh, something like uh, extrinsic protein. Okay. And then there we, we have proteins in between this bilayer also which is known as interesting proteins these proteins are also of two types tunnel interesting and carrier interesting the tunnel where it uh, passes through whole the bilayer and carrier uh, integral protein is where instructing protein is where only a part of his here and it has to move down for the transportation to occur then there are carbohydrates and uh, 
uh, extrinsic protein and carbohydrate and protein uh, extrinsic protein are together called glycoprotein and the carbohydrate which touches the lipid and the lipid itself both together combined to called glycolipid and uh, types of protein with respect to arrangement are as follows instructing and extrinsic uh, intrinsic protein intrinsic protein is highly embedded tightly and it is hard to remove can be over observed by freeze fracture technique we separate by layers so that embedded proteins are visible in freeze fracture technique the function of intrinsic intrinsic protein is to protect transport across the membrane now intrinsic protein is of two types tunnel or carrier tunnel are also known as transmembrane protein extends throughout the length of the bilayer these proteins will have hydrophilic or hydrophobic ends facing inwards that is so that there is a channel of tunnel for water and soluble substances the proteins are attached to the phospholipids by their non polar ends bound to the lipid of van der waals force forces carrier proteins are of two types again passive carrier and active carrier passive carrier then no net net atp is reused and active carrier atp is used and these are specialized to carry or transport solute molecules just simple extrinsic protein has is loosely attached to phospholipids by layer easy to remove by detergent they will provide structural and functional specification specificity to the membrane functions are determined by glycoprotein and glycolipids it will identify recognize substances in the medium whether they should pass or not the, therefore membranes differ from each other both structurally and functionally depending upon the type of phospholipids proteins and polysaccharides